Hello and welcome to Realistic Fishing. How to find good fishing spots. That's what this video is all about. And I want to share with you today four tips on how to find great, not just good, great fishing spots. I want to be honest with you. I started this YouTube channel called Realistic Fishing because I thought, you know, let's be realistic. No one can catch heaps of fish all the time. Well, that is the truth. But I have learnt that I can catch heaps of fish by applying these four rules when finding good fishing spots. And I hope you can too. Now, before we get into the four tips, there is some important rules you must know before you can even find good spots. And that is this, okay? That is this, don't miss this, all right? A good fishing spot doesn't mean you will catch fish there all the time, okay? This is why, because the fish that you're targeting might not be there all the time because it's not their season while they'll be in that hole or it's just the wrong tide or the fish just aren't on the bite that day. How you determine what a good fishing spot is, is if it's good majority of the time when the conditions are right. Okay, so you need to apply that when finding good fishing spots. If you find a good spot, it doesn't mean it's going to be going off all the time. But with these four rules, you can find those good spots and majority of the time you will find fish there. Now, tip number four, counting down to tip number one, tip number four is know your species of fish, okay? By understanding what species of fish you are targeting, you are going to have the best chance at finding a good spot. Let me give you an example, okay? If you're trying to find a good spot, let's say for flathead, or for trout, or for Murray cod, okay? For Murray cod, you're going to be looking for certain types of structure. You need to know what type of structure those fish that you are targeting likes. If it's flathead, you want to find some really nice sand flats, and you want to find maybe some lays where they have been because you need to know what species of fish you're targeting and what sort of structure or what sort of environment they really like to feed at okay to feed at now that might be more than one type of a spot where you can find this particular species of fish all right but you need to know what fish you are targeting if you understand and if you're targeting a certain species and you know what sort of environment they like to feed at you have so much more of a chance of finding a good spot counting down on our list tip number three tip number three is google maps or maps in general now, how is this helpful for finding good fishing spots? Let me tell you how. See how I'm scrolling here through the map. As I'm scrolling through, I'm looking for all sorts of structure. Now, this can do with, you know, if you're freshwater fishing, if you're saltwater fishing, if you're looking for sand flats, if you're looking for deep drop-offs, uh, for ledges, if you're looking for rapids, whatever you're looking for, often satellite imaging can help you find these locations. Now that you've known what species you're targeting, you are now looking for some sort of place, environment, where these fish are gonna be hanging out with. So this is how Google Maps can really, really help you find good fishing spots. I have found some amazing fishing spots just by searching online, finding the maps, and finding the right structure that I wanna target. As you can see here, catching plenty of fish by finding the good sand flats when I've been flathead fishing. Tip number two. Before we go on to the last two tips, would you consider hitting the like button to help me out if you're enjoying it? Uh, it really helps out with the whole YouTube thing. Oh yeah, and subscribe if you are enjoying this content and like my fishing videos as well. Check them out. Let's get back to the video. Is to explore. Now, Coming from tip number three about Google Maps, you find good spots on Google Maps, you don't have to find them on Google Maps, but then you have to get out there, you have to spend the time, and you have to go exploring, okay? Whether that's rock hopping for rock fishing, whether that's walking kilometers and kilometers along a, a, a river to find trout or Murray cod or, or, or whatever it is, or kayaking down a river to find those big bass, whatever it is, 
you have to get out there and you have to put the hours in to find the good spots. Let me roll some clips of me finding an amazing spot by me and my friends one day. We just went out and we just went camping, we went walking along a river and we found an amazing hole for big bass. Absolutely love it. I wish I had footage from when we first discovered it, but I'm telling you, get out there and explore and don't click off because you don't want to miss. Tip number one, and this is the best tip of them all. I have caught so many fish, found so many good fishing spots by following this one tip, this one rule, and that is local knowledge. Now, what do I mean by local knowledge? Well, you have a wealth of knowledge with all sorts of other local fishermen who some of them will share some good spots. Others like to keep it a secret, <laughs> let's be honest. But I have found so many good fishing spots simply because I have asked. Now, don't let that go astray. Ask people, ask other fishermen, you know, where is it good to catch this? Where is it good to catch that? They can give you so much more advice because you're calling on a bunch of people with so many collective hours together of exploring and finding and they've told it and their grandfather has told them. You can find so many good fishing spots simply by asking, simply by going fishing with another local fisherman. Honestly, guys, this is the best tip. Whoa, birds. This is the best tip I can give you to finding good fishing spots. As you can see here, I found this amazing fishing hole. I found so many amazing fishing holes. Caught this massive Murray cod by, you know, just following tips actually from YouTube. Actually, someone commenting saying, hey, here's a good fishing spot. So I didn't even ask, but someone just told me local knowledge, local knowledge, tip number one. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to leave a like if you got something out of that. It really helps my channel out if you like it, if you subscribe. And yeah, stick around, check out my other videos as well. And uh, it helps me out, but hopefully it helps you out during this isolation situation that rhymed. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Bye.